Tonight, over budget and running late, the cost of bringing the new V&A Museum to Dundee has almost doubled to £80 million. And it's now estimated that it won't open its doors until June 2018. Also... Good evening. It's a showcase project to put Dundee at the centre of Scotland's cultural map. But tonight it's emerged the cost of bringing the V&A Museum to the city is to almost double. The development was originally budgeted at £45 million, but officials say that the total cost will now be £80 million. They say the complex nature of the structure and inflation have been factors. Here's Craig Miller. The Victoria and Albert in London is a world-famous institution. For some, the idea of having this outpost in Dundee was fanciful. But the plan to build the V&A on the Tay has long been billed as an aspirational project to provide Dundee and Scotland with a world-class museum. The cost of building the V&A here on this site has always been put at £45 million, and there's always been scepticism that that could be achieved. Today it's been made clear it's nowhere near enough. Today, those involved in the project dropped something of a bombshell by announcing that the price would now be £80 million. They said the cost overrun was due to the highly complex structure of the building and unprecedented levels of construction inflation. So this is a, a unique building. It has unique challenges and it also has, of course, unique potential for Dundee. It's claimed the V&A will mean an £11 million a year economic boost for Dundee, 270,000 visitors a year and hundreds of jobs. It's also a linchpin of the £1 billion transformation of Dundee's waterfront. But it will now require over £30 million more in funding, including an extra £22 million from the Scottish Government. What we have is a fixed price tender from a reliable contractor, a construction company with some pedigree, and we're confident that the £80 million budget we now have is realistic. It will allow us to deliver an iconic project. The figures for the V&A are way less, but comparisons will be drawn with the Scottish Parliament, ten times over budget, and the Edinburgh Trams project, where the bill doubled. But one MSP thinks the Scottish Parliament should now pick up the entire cost for V&A Dundee. They've underspent their budget by over £400 million across Scotland this year, so I think they should give Dundee that £40 million, let Dundee have its design museum. Other cities like Edinburgh and Glasgow have arts institutions that are paid for centrally, so why not Dundee? But there will now be a review of why the cost of V&A Dundee has overrun. Well, for more, Craig Miller is live in Dundee. Craig. Well, there's always been huge political will to make the V&A project in Dundee a reality, but rumours began to emerge late last year that the £45 million budget wasn't going to be enough. Talks have been taking place uh, with the uh, construction company, uh, BAM Construction and the design team, and the result, a near doubling of the price. Now, the project partners have decided to persist with the original design and seek extra funding. Now, there will be some people who think with all the social problems that Dundee has that the money would be better spent elsewhere. But the powers that be here are absolutely convinced that bringing the V&A to Dundee will have huge benefits for both the city and Scotland. Andrea. All right, Craig, thank you. Oil services